Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am so freaking hyped for some reason. I don't know, I, I don't know why I've just been anticipating filming this, but yeah, for today's video, I am gonna be doing kind of like a mini binder makeover, I guess. I feel like I do makeovers every other week, but this one is for a reason. So recently I made the decision to collect three more members of Seventeen. I know it's kind of crazy. I barely have finished my Vernon collection. I'm very close but i don't know like there's it's really hard to just have one bias and all the photo cards are cute all the members are just like so biasable and i caved in and i'm collecting three more members now so how did this happen i don't know but yeah i bought in a lot of photo cards recently and traded a lot of photo cards and just done a lot of stuff so for today's video i'm gonna kind of prepare my oh my god i just noticed that that that's there that's annoying hold on yeah, again, I'm in my dorm right now and I don't have a white desk or nice surface, so I'm literally using a poster as a backdrop, so yeah, sorry for that. But anyways, I did- I am gonna do a little like preparing my binder for like incoming photo card video- that type of video. I know a lot of people do these types of videos. We have Trade Petals and Carolyn, notably, like they do these videos all the time and they're like amazing, so yeah, their collection goals. So hopefully I can be like them one day, but yeah. So I'm gonna do that sort of video because I bought a bunch of photo cards from Baiyi, from Neokyo. Um, they just had a comeback recently. I've done a bunch of trades and stuff. So I'm just gonna basically prep my binder for that. So yeah. So if you guys remember from my ultimate photo card binder video, 17 is in this binder right here and Vernon is in my ult binder since he's one of my ults. But I recently bought a brand new binder, a one and a half inch binder so that I could put all four members that I'm gonna collect who are Vernon, Myungo, DK and Mingyu. So yeah, I'm gonna put them in here because they're obviously not gonna fit in here and I just want them all in one binder. And yes, I didn't buy a clear binder this time. I bought an actual like white sturdy binder because these binders are ass. So yeah. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all the members that I have in this binder into here. I'm gonna move my Vernon collection into here as well. Um, the remaining photo cards, I do have some like of other members from Seventeen. I'm just gonna leave them in here, so those are just gonna live in there. These are just gonna be for the four members, so it's kind of confusing the system, but whatever. It's good in my head, so yeah. After I move everything, I'm just gonna put like blank pages and stuff. And then I'm also going to put these. I literally went ahead and bought these like card size like pieces of cardstock and some post-it notes and then I'm just gonna like fill in the blanks you know like you'll see like what this type of video is yeah let's just go ahead and start I guess also to help me I do have these templates so like I said I do have like the templates for all the members obviously for this video I just need one because all the photo cards are the same obviously and then for now I'm also collecting Vernon's Japanese cards so I'm gonna put like pages for his Japanese cards as well I'm not collecting the other member cards for now the Japanese albums because I haven't even finished their Korean collection so why would I focus on a Japanese one as well so yeah, none of this is like crossed out because I'm gonna like put them all in like a separate video like the actual photo cards that I have once I receive all of it. So that'll be in a future video. But for now, I'm just gonna put these like little um, card thingies and yeah, I should just stop explaining and just actually do it. So first, let's just go ahead and move these photo cards into my new binder. Take this out and then peel this, which is very satisfying. Why can't all labels peel off like that? So, yeah, this is my very sad Myungo collection so far. Literally only one page and this circle sticker thing. But I did, like I said, I bought a bunch of photo cards from Baiyi and Yokyo and stuff like that. So these will be filled up very quickly. Also, <laughs> these were the only two Myungo cards I had. I mean, not Myungo, uh, Mingyu cards I had. And I did have two Anode photo cards or like three, but I sold them because I bought his Anode set from Neokyo, so yeah. And this is my Togem set, I mean collection so far. Again, very sad, but I did like, trust me guys, like in my next video where I'm gonna like put all the photo cards that I bought once I receive them, it's it's like a lot, like 
I kind of want hands. So. Oh shoot, I almost forgot about the other inclusions. What am I doing? So this bookmark, oh. this. Oh wait, I'll, I'll just take this page out. And then let's see. Oh, we have a Myungo paddle. I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna collect these. These are like, what? This bookmark. Um, ooh, I have Mingyu's director's cut postcards. I'm not really so like focused on collecting like other inclusions, like postcards and stuff. So I'm not really gonna make room for them, but if I have them, then I, then I have them, you know? Wait, isn't, wait, who is this? Is this, this is Togyam, right? Right? Or is this Wanu? I literally can't tell who this is and there's no name. LOL. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just put it in here for now. I'm not certain who that is. <laughs> okay. Oh, here are my standees. So, Togyam, Yango, and that's it. And my Vernon one, I actually have it on display. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, that was all from the 17 binder. Okay, let's just go ahead and take out, wait, hold on. Let's just go ahead and put these in first. Ugh, ow. Okay, this is literally it. And then let's just go ahead and move my um, Vernon stuff as well. Okay, everything has been successfully moved. This is all gonna get a makeover because these are not, I mean, they're in era order, but they're not like well-spaced and stuff. Again, I'm not like a great collector or like a very serious collector. I feel like this is the first time I'm doing this like very seriously and like preparing everything and collecting all the cards and stuff. So this is all still kind of new to me. So yeah, this is gonna take a while kind of, but. You can see here, I do have Vernon's template. I also have the other members, but again, all the photo cards are the same, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put like a space holder for a card that I don't have, and everything hopefully is just gonna be very neat. So let's just go ahead and start with Vernon's. I did actually, um, if you guys saw my um, shopping video, like shop with me, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm such a mess. If you guys saw my um, shopping with me video for my Baiyi like tutorial video, you guys know that I did buy like a majority of his older photo cards. The only photo cards that I'm missing from my Vernon Korean album collection is this Boys V card and this Director's Cut card. So yeah, those two are literally all I need. I literally have everything else. The other cards that I'm missing are on their way, so. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy that I'm like finally like basically done with his collection. So that is like such a, such like, I don't know, what do you even call this? But anyway, so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna grab one of these and I was actually planning on writing on this thing directly, but I don't know, I felt like it would be kind of a waste. So I decided to put it on a little like post-it note. So I'm gonna go like this. And then in blue, I'm gonna write the member name. So let's see, let's not do anything too fancy. Oh my God, <laughs> that is literally so ugly. Oh my gosh, but <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so there's the name and then <laughs> this is so ugly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna write the album, Boys B, and then this one's the Hyde version. There, okay, something like this. This is literally so ugly. I'm not like the most artistic, so cut me some slack here, but yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in like that. Wow, so cool. I feel like a real collector now. So let's just go ahead and do this for like a bunch of the thingies. Oh my God, I cannot do this for my life. Okay, yeah, these are, if you're, look, if you're here for like a very like, neat and organized and like just artistic like person that you've come to the wrong channel because my handwriting is so messy oh my god i what what is this my handwriting is just so messy i'm not artistic at all this is like not centered this is just a mess but 
You know what? Hopefully this will be satisfying in like a collector's point of view, not like an artistic point of view. So yeah, don't judge me too harshly. I know I'm aware this is very ugly. <laughs> oh wait, I actually have this card already. Okay. So this one is the, what is this? Oh wait, no, next up is LNL. What am I doing? Okay, um, this one I have, and then I just need the other Polaroid that I actually did buy. I think I bought it for like, it was like what like four dollars from mercari japan so very a good a good deal it was a bargain and i just need his other oh wait no i just said i bought it okay what is what do we call this l and l repack Ooh. and i actually have a template here now so this will actually be in like order i guess like version order and stuff so yay okay and then i have this going 17 card and then um, I bought his other one, and then I bought his other one as well, and then this one's the unit. Okay, so, dun dun here. I don't really have anything to talk about right now, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I think of something to talk about. Let's do a time lapse. We can just go ahead and put these in now. So, happen version goes right here, 17 version goes right here, and then next album is AL1, and it's this Polaroid first, the alone version. There's that, and then this one is right here. Oh, this is not an Ultra Pro page, oh my god, some of these pages are from like Walmart before I decided to buy Ultra Pro pages on Amazon, so yeah, oh, it's not that satisfying, but it'll do for now. And then I'm just missing his, um, what is this? The all version, which I actually did buy from Mercari Japan. The thing is though, literally right after I bought it, someone actually DM'd me and they were like, hey, like, do you need this card? And I was like, oh my God, I literally just bought that card. So yeah, it was kind of sad, but the person was super nice for offering it to me, not like as a gift, but for like sale or trade, but I had already bought it from Mercari Japan. So I was like, damn it, like, have gotten it sooner but oh well okay so let's put this one and then the white version and then i luckily have um this is the green one and the orange one i hate these cards because they're like horizontal it's kind of unsatisfying but whatever it's fine the RQ and S photo card though is so like cool, I guess. Like it's like a side profile of him and it's so nice. I actually did buy it. Okay, next up we have director's cut. So I have the selfie and then don't I have the other selfie? Oh yeah, I do have the other selfie. I just had trade for, traded for it recently. So yeah, that's why it's not in my binder for now. I haven't done a storing video in such a long time and I seriously have to because literally like oh my god um <laughs> i have so many photo cards my little like um what a, the glossier bag i put all my stuff in a glossier bag because it's like the easiest way to store them and literally oh my god it's so i can't even close it all the way because it's so thick but i haven't had the time to um film one and I also didn't have my sleeves with me. I mean, not my sleeves, my like binder pages um, because I left them at home. So I couldn't film anything like that. So <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um, I did bring them. I went home over the weekend. So I'm filming this video first because I was most excited about this one. And then, yeah. And then I'm going to film my story video. So that'll be up soon. The thing is though, for like my 17 photo cards, like I'm doing this video right now. And then in a separate video, which is like a part two, I guess, I'm gonna um, like put all the photo cards that I get once I get them all from like Baiyi and Neokyo. I'm still waiting for my Baiyi and, Neo and Neokyo package. So once those arrive, then I'll put them all away and it'll just be so fun and so satisfying because I'm like, I'm gonna complete my collection in front of your eyes and it's just gonna be like, yay, like completing all these collections. But yeah, it does take a lot of time. There's a lot of waiting. And I actually would have been able to consolidate my um, Baiyi package, but um, one package that I, not package, one order that I placed um, got 
canceled like way later. Like I, they actually completed the order, but Mercari canceled it for some reason. So yeah, I had to order something else, unfortunately. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive, arrive. So yeah. Oh wait, this isn't the ribbon version. This is the meat version. The meat ribbon version. That was the last card. It was this card actually, this one right here. I've been looking for this for the longest time and I finally bought it off Neokyo, so... Oh wait, I actually did receive this already. So I did receive one of my Neokyo packages already. That was my first time and I did film a haul for it, but I'm actually like waiting for my Bayi package to arrive first and then I'm gonna upload my Neokyo haul because the Bayi video is a sponsorship, so I don't want to, you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. So yeah, for those reasons, I'm gonna upload it later. But yeah, I did receive my first Neo Kill haul, so those are just sitting in my, my Glossier bag. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be up soon. I did order more stuff from, Neo from Neo Kill though, so <laughs> that's why I'm gonna wait for my Neo Kill package to arrive. I did do a packing request for it, so I'm just waiting to pay for shipping, and then I just need to wait for it to arrive, and then yeah, and then I'll post my Neo Kill haul. So there's that. It'll be a very long haul since I ordered a bunch of photo cards. <laughs> okay, so I just put away my You Made My Dawn photo cards. I did finish this collection a while ago, so I don't need to do anything for that. And now we move on to an ode. Holy crap, like this an ode collection took forever because there's just 20 cards and it was insane, but I did finish it finally. The last card I needed actually was this one and I did buy it recently. Um, it's gonna be my in my next collective haul for October, so there's that. But again, I'm gonna store it in like my next video, so yeah. These are literally all out of order though, so I'm gonna quickly organize it in like the right order. I love how I literally put none of these in the right order. <laughs> I just put them in randomly. So I'm literally, I have to move all of the photo cards again. Okay, finally finished for an ode. Why does there have to be 20 photo cards? Like, Pletus is literally insane and like not in the good way. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I'm almost done with this Hangata collection. Actually, I am done with it. I just need to wait for the cards to arrive. So let me just go ahead and quickly organize this. Oh my God, I've been filming for like 30 minutes. So hopefully this video is not too long because I haven't even started on the other members. Just finished. Oh, I need to do semicolon. Oops. <laughs> totally forgot that they just had to come back. I do finally have both of his photo cards though. I pulled his one card and then I traded for his other card. And I actually got that card today in my collective haul. So I finished his semicolon set. Yay. I'm so. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Oh, wait. No. Yeah. I do need to write it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I like tripped myself out for a second. Thank God though that um, Pletus literally only did two photo cards because like i said like they always do like a bunch of photo cards so um what should i call this i guess i'll just leave it at semicolon but thank god they only did two cards though for this album because like i was really struggling with their other album cards but thankfully they only did two so yeah it was really easy to get his cards so Yay, and it'll be pretty easy for the other members too, so thank the lord that led us into like a bunch of different cards. Okay, wait, this is such like, this is a fan-made card, what the heck? Okay, and then I guess I'll just put like space fillers in here so it's like more satisfying. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's it for his Korean cards. I'm taking way too long on this because I'm talking so much, so... I'm now going to move on to his Japanese cards. Like I said, I'm only going to focus on Vernon's Japanese cards for now before I move on to the other ones since I'm not very like close to finishing it. I do have a lot of them, but not too many. So I'm going to go ahead and put like pages for these ones.
Okay, so I just finished all of them. Look at all these cards, holy shit. I mean, they're not photo cards, but they're going to be, so... Yeah, I just found a new system and I feel like it's way better is I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me writing this and then I guess I can just talk while I put these away. So yeah, you can tell it's very inconsistent. I literally fucked up on this one and I accidentally started with black pen. My handwriting is just such a mess. The post-it note sometimes is like slanted. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these like sooner or later. So yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me too harshly. This is the only Japanese card I had of him and I pulled this, I think, or I traded it. This is his We Make You card, the limited B version. But yeah, I, I did kind of put a pause on buying photo cards cause you know, I need to save some moolah. So I went a little crazy, but then I just, I'm like putting a break on it now. I'm like waiting until I get more money from like my birthday or like Christmas or something. So yeah, but I feel like finding his Japanese cards are like for like a good price on Mercari Japan is pretty easy because I don't know I feel like since you know it's Mercari Japan and it's like a Japanese photo card from a Japanese album like since it's sold domestically you know I feel like sellers would sell it for cheaper which is nice like I always find his Japanese cards for like two to four dollars each so finding the cards won't be so difficult so I'm not too concerned. I actually did finish his 24 hour sets. I did like find a majority of them on Mercari Japan. I traded for a couple of them and then I think I pulled one of them. So I'm finished with 24 hours. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. I think the only one I'm missing is his M card, like the M infinity, like really hard card. So yeah, I'm just, I haven't found that one yet. It's not a really high high priority of mine. So yeah, hopefully sooner or later I can like find a trade or find it and buy it. But yeah, oh my God, this is just so fun to do. I don't know why I haven't done these before because I guess it's just because I'm not like a super serious collector. So I haven't really like, you know, had the desire to do this sort of video, but yeah. Okay, this is kind of unsatisfying though. These are just all blank. So I guess I'll just fill them in. Okay, and then last but not least, I do have some extra cards. So these are more like special photo cards. I don't really collect like his other special photo cards, like trading cards or whatever. These are just cards I just happen to get. So this one is from the OTU in Seoul CD. I traded for this one because I bought the CD. And then this is his Hangare. Like I think this is like a fan sign photo card. And I actually did like find more of his fan sign photo cards. Like I found like a pack of them for like $20. Like I think for like four of them. So yeah, that was a really good steal. So that's why I bought it. But yeah, I'm gonna dedicate like a separate page to like his special photo cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that. If you guys are wondering where I got these, um, I got them from Amazon. I'll try to link everything I get in this video in the description. This is so extra. Like honestly, you don't need to buy these. You can just like cut it out with construction paper, but I'm just too lazy to do that. Like every time I did do that, it just ended up looking messy and like not, you know, like uniform, I guess that's the word. So I just decided to get these. They weren't that expensive for like a pack of 300. So yeah, and also I can reuse these over and over because these are made out of cardstock and I'm using it with a post-it note. So yeah. And also I didn't use a post-it note for these ones because again, I'm not like planning on like collecting these. It's just like whatever I get, I'll just put them in here. So yeah, like just random special Vernon cards I get. So there's this page for that. And then these, I'm not really focused on other inclusions. Again, if I just happen to get them, again, I'll just put them away. So that's what these pages are for. So yeah, not very organized, but yeah, that's everything for Vernon finally. That literally took me forever. So yeah. Um, next up, we're gonna do Myungho. Okay, I need to take all these out, but first of all, I am gonna buy like, like dividers, like these dividers for this, but not right now. It's not really a high priority, but in the future it will. Okay, but I am now going to go ahead and write a bunch of these. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through this, so I'm just going to do a quick little time lapse. So yeah, let's go. I just finished. Oh my God, do you see all this, y'all? Good thing I did a time lapse, but now that I'm thinking about this, like I literally 
barely have any cards for the members I'm collecting so I just realized how much of these I need to write down so this might have been kind of a dumb idea but you know what it's for the contents baby so <laughs> yeah but I did finish I did fuck up some of them again like you can see some of them are messy like I've just been, I don't know, my brain has kind of been glitching for some of these, so yeah, but I've been playing music, just chilling, doing these, and I need to do these for two more members, so it's gonna be a long evening, but let's go ahead and put these all away. Okay, we're back on track. There was some confusion there and I accidentally forgot to do one. So I did one really quickly, but you can see I finally put away all the cards that I already have. Oh my God, it was such a mess, but you know what? We're back on track, so. I do have these two random inclusions and I do have some other inclusions like for example I bought Mingyu's entire and Oat set and it came with like the circle stickers and stuff so I don't know how I'm gonna organize that but for now for these ones I'm just gonna put these in a six pocket there's that okay dude oh my god that literally took like 40 minutes <laughs> mainly because I had to do these but it's time for Mingyu, and I, as you can tell, I have zero Mingyu cards because, yeah, like, these are the only two cards I have right now, which is from Happy Ending, and then this is from the OTU Soul DVD, so basically, I need to, um, do these for all of Mingyu's cards, basically, so I'm not gonna have fun doing that. I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse in case you guys enjoy watching me <laughs> write down stuff, but... For my progress, I guess I'll like tell you guys, so I did basically like finish like his newer photo cards, so I did finish Hengare, I bought an entire like set for an oat, so I literally have all of these cards. I think I originally had this card and this card, but I ended up selling those because again, I bought the entire set, so those are just duplicates. I bought his entire You Make My Dawn set. I did find a full set on, um, where is it, Baiyi Mercari, I think. I think it's in my shopping videos, so... I have that. I did end up buying his entire set. Um, I don't have any of these cards. I actually did end up buying a set for Going 17 for these three cards. I don't have the unit one, but I did find a set for these. And so those are on the way. Here is yet another time lapse with some BGM for... Oh wait, let me put the these sleeves in first. Am I gonna regret this in the future? Probably, but you know what? Let's just do it for the content. <laughs> Okay, so my phone actually just died. Um, I didn't get a notification saying it was low on battery because I turned off my notifications. So yeah, I was waiting for it to charge and it kind of broke my zone. Like I was really in the zone and it just broke that like train of concentration. But anyways, it's charging now and we're back. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> I finished and the fact that since I had like no um, Mingyu cards before, well I did and then I sold the two because they were extras, but I literally had to write it for every single photo card that he has, so yeah, this is like, if you were gonna collect everyone's Korean cards, this is what it will look like, <laughs> but yeah, these are just like special cards and like a Japanese card, so yeah, I actually ended up finishing like an entire stack of post-its, so I'm on my second one right now. I literally ordered a bunch of these, so I'm not worried about running out of them. Um, I'm actually on my fourth stack for these, and I do have two more, so I'm not worried about that either. But, okay, let's just go ahead and put all these in.
oh my god this binder is getting so full now like dang oh my god thank god i got a one and a half inch binder instead of a one inch but yeah this also gives me a good idea of like how thick my binder is gonna be so yay but now it's time to move on oh shoot i forgot about these cards i forgot about the japanese cards and then this special card so again japanese card is not really a priority of mine but i will go ahead and make a separate page for it okay there's that and then i just have these postcards now it is time to move on to tokyo so i'll go ahead and take these cards out this is a japanese card so i'm not really focused on that right now i do have four of his cards right now and the funny thing is i actually did have his director's cut cards because Togem was actually one of my first biases in 17, so I traded for some of his cards, and I actually had these two cards and this card, but I ended up trading those a while ago for Vernon cards, and I kind of regret it now because those cards are kind of harder to find, but you know what? It's fine. So yeah, I'll go ahead and add some more binder pages, and yeah. <sighs> We're gonna go through this again. I mean, luckily, I only- I already have like four of these cards, but I mean... It's not gonna make that big of a dent so it's another time lapse time so yeah let's let's do this oh my gosh <sighs> holy shit okay also when did this get up here <laughs> i guess i was just so aggressive with like my pen slamming i'm just like <sighs> that it just got pushed up but holy shit i finished with tokyams okay this was a lot quicker because first of all i can just write dk because yeah so it definitely saved me some time and i definitely got a lot more lazy with how i label things like i <laughs> i stopped writing version ver and then like for example, for um, an ode, like there's like different ones. There's like an ode, the poet, um, like tr like colored back or like white back. I, f I wrote that at first and then I just stopped. I just labeled it like number two, number three, number four. So yeah, I definitely got a lot more lazy, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So yeah, I also ended up finishing another pile of post-its or like a little stack. So this was my third one um yeah luckily i had a bunch but let's just go ahead and put these in you know so shit i can't believe we're finally oh shoot wait hold on i have this menu bookmark is this all i have for inclusions okay so for mingyu i'll just go ahead and quickly put this away yeah oh my god we finally finished though again i will put you know um dividers and stuff later it'll be way more nice in the future you know and i also don't really feel like decorating this binder right now i'm just way too tired yeah my ass hurts right now this chair is so uncomfortable but yeah that was it so i'll go ahead and do like a quick little like flip through i guess since you know it's more satisfying to see everything like this but also this will show like my current progress i guess so i'll just go ahead and quickly flip through this in a future video, in like the next video, I guess like a part two, I'll go ahead and fill all these in once I get like all my cards from Bai and Yokyo. 
oh my gosh it's gonna be so satisfying though oh, i'm gonna feel like such a real collector omg like i've never been this i mean i've been a serious serious collector like in terms of like albums and trading for my bias and stuff but for like photo card collecting you know this is like the first time i'm doing this like doing it like this you know like you see this on like other k-pop youtubers and stuff but i don't know i'm just i'm i'm weird i guess i'm just strange so i haven't really done anything like this this is literally just like a bunch of placeholders <laughs> not a single photo card in here but you know what it will be filled it will be filled and it'll be so much fun so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys enjoy these types of videos i think i have another one planned for the future so look forward to that and also look forward to you know the video where i put all the photo cards in and complete my collection well some collections so yeah that is finally everything wow that took forever and way longer than i expected but yeah that was everything oh my god you can definitely <laughs> I totally forgot, oops. But yeah, that was this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, thank you so much for watching this video and staying till the end. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.